Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 3rd of 2021. Well, it is titled NGC 7023 the Iris Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is known as the Iris Nebula, also known by the catalog designation of NGC 7023, and may give you the idea of a flower there staring out in space. We see a very distinct blue color. And what the Iris Nebula is, is an example of a reflection nebula. So there is a very young hot star at the center, which is what is producing the color. However, the star itself is blue and emits a lot of ultraviolet light because it's a very hot star. And the blue light is preferentially scattered by dust grains. So what we're seeing is it is illuminating the dust from which it formed. So some of that leftover material scattered around it. That is then being reflected. The light then reflects off of that. So it's quite different than an emission nebula that we often look at where the light from that star is actually exciting the gas molecules and causing them to glow. Here it is simply light reflecting off the dust grains and if you studied the light being reflected by this nebula you would find it mirrors the light being emitted by the star It would be very similar to that. Uh, that type of light. It would not be the same type of spectrum uh, that you would see for an emission nebula. An emission nebula emits only very specific lines. And if you put that light through a prism, you'll see just specific colors and specific wavelengths of those colors visible. Here you would see a continuous spectrum, all of the different colors, with a little bit of a preference towards the blues because that is what is being scattered better, and that is what the star is preferentially producing. So we also see in here some dark nebulae, especially down towards the bottom and towards the top as well. In fact, scattered all around the nebula. That's where the dust is denser. As you get a little bit further away from the star and or denser areas, then the light is no longer able to penetrate the dust well. And we get a dark nebula. So those are denser areas. So it's not a lack of material. It is actually more material present within those dusty areas. And those are areas that the light from the star is unable to penetrate. The way we study those is by using infrared very long wavelengths. If you recall, I said that the blue light is very well, well scattered by dust. Well, it is the red light and even longer wavelengths like infrared, which are much better at penetrating through dust. So if we want to study something in a very dusty area, especially heavy dust, dusty area, like some of the dark nebulae down towards the bottom, we would want to look at them in the infrared to allow that light that penetrates those to be able to see and give us a peek into what is happening there. So that was our picture of the day for September the 3rd of 2021. It was titled NGC 7023 the Iris Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.